MLB caught with China ties while making themselves enemies of Georgia democracy. Yeah, the people that are standing up for their their moralities that uh, I don't even know if they even read the bill. I think they just go with whatever their masters or hierarchy of masters tell them to do. So these corporations are 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 using their considerable considerable corporate power to try to morally and economically browbeat a legislature and an executive of a state that was duly elected and they want to bypass elections and just have states decide their laws based on what a few corporate heads have to say and and by corporate heads i mean behind them the few families that fundamentally control most of this when when push comes to shove. So here are their, their, their headlines from Free Beacon. Rubio rips MLB commish for leagues China-Cuba ties. Uh, so this is uh, uh, baseball commissioner also touts membership at elite Georgia golf club even after MLB's Georgia boycott. Senator Marco Rubio points out. So uh, what he's doing, and this is, I mean, it's, he's right in doing this. Uh, although, you know, he is one of them. He is... He's one of the token. I mean, boy, he really showed them. This is another one of them. He really showed them. He, he said words and destroyed them with words. Baseball commissioner also touts membership at Elite Georgia Golf Club even after MLB's Georgia boycott. Senator Marco Rubio excoriated Major League Baseball Commissioner Robert Manfred on Monday for his leaks ties to authoritarian regimes in Cuba and China. Right. I've, I've covered this in stories earlier uh, in this segment and if you're just or in this show and if you're watching the segment version of the show go to the YouTube channel The Freedomist with the, the black and the gold that that's that's the one and you'll see these stories so this is this is what really should tell you what 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 uh, smoke and mirrors all this is they do not they are not moral players they don't care about your 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 justice this is uh, was it Isaiah? Uh, I want to say I, I could get this wrong. I always get this wrong. Is it Isaiah thirty-two seven? And uh, that is. Uh, let me let me see the. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get this right. I am going to get this. I like the ESPN. Let's see if I got this right. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. As for the scoundrel, his devices are evil. He plans wicked schemes to ruin the poor with lying words, even when the plea of the needy is right. That's what's going on here. They are using the plea of the needy. And, and they're whipping people to frenzies of hate and fear and all that stuff just so they can get people to agree to hand over more control to these companies. So nobody will say anything while the lockdowns continue and more businesses keep going out of business and the corporations keep buying up all the resources, all the intellectual property and, and consolidating their power with a hope that they could somehow prevent human beings from realizing that technology has already freed us from them. Technology and has enabled the small-scale entrepreneur to outwork and outthink the large-scale entrepreneur. The only reason that the large-scale entrepreneur is still winning is because governments are protecting the large-scale entrepreneur at the cost of the small-scale entrepreneur. And they know they can't just do that. So they've come up with some some moral terror. In the, in the 80s, you had the, the Satan scare, the Satanic scare. And now you have the the woke scare, which uh, they're using to get people to to surrender their freedoms. And then you have ten Chinese warplanes, including spy and anti-submarine aircraft, fly over Taiwanese airspace. Vladimir Putin signs President for Life law. Inmate stage uprising at St. Louis jail, dodged by unrest. Jordan's Prince Hamza pleads. I covered that story yesterday. Well, here's a follow-up. He's a he's pleading allegiance to the king after coup attempt. So it looks like they all made nice nice. So they. They were, I, I think the money powers that be were like, no, no, not this time. We don't want to. We, we don't want to mess up Jordan yet. It's not in our best interest. But if it was, we would. We wouldn't care because we don't care about humans. Because they're not really humans. Unless you're in the club, you're not really a human. There you go. 